Hi, I'm Tim Morris. I'm a commercial real estate broker with Newmark Grub Knight Frank. And today I'm here to introduce David McLaughlin, CEO and founder of Quantiverse. I'm really fortunate to be surrounded by some uh, really top quality uh, folks. Phil McLaughlin, no relation to me, is our chief information officer, our CIO. He's responsible for the development of the platform, uh, the technology platform. Dr. Leandro Loss is a PhD in data science. Uh, he is the gentleman that's responsible uh, he and his team for building the algorithms, the proprietary algorithms uh, that we have developed to find these uh, uh, patterns and to identify these criminals. Kelly Torrance is our chief product strategist, uh, long history here in the Philadelphia market with technology and startups and, and building technology companies. And uh, Dan Stitt is our chief financial crime uh, analyst, uh, director of financial crime analysis. He runs our financial crime team, uh, analysis team. Got a long history in uh, investigative uh, process and finding financial criminals. And we're, we're uh, Dr. Loss, Leandro, is pulling the knowledge out of Dan's head and writing that into artificial intelligence and code that we can use to, to uh, find these criminals on a large scale basis. Our development of our uh, company um, has relied on uh, working with several clients uh, that have enabled us to prove our technology and improve our uh, technology. We're uh, very fortunate to get engaged with one of the world's largest banks. Uh, their top 10 bank, maybe the fifth largest correspondent bank in the world. Um, uh, they knew they wanted to solve this problem. They know they want to solve this problem. Their employees are very uh, committed to solving the problem of money laundering. Uh, they do not want their institution to be used by criminals. And they recognize the promise of these new technologies. And, and they were willing to partner with us very early in our development to help us prove this out. Um, and by doing that, uh, when they did that, they gave us uh, real client transaction data that uh, uh, we were able to, to evaluate and analyze and, and give them results to. And, and through that process, we were able to, in addition to proving our capabilities, really build upon what it is that we had developed uh, to date. So it was, it was, a, it was a seminal event in our uh, history, uh, that first client to be able to take their real client transactional data and uh, validate our system. And, and in the process of it, we were able to go back and give them uh, some insights to their clients that they had not had previously. If you've heard of the Panama Papers, there's a, a law firm, Mossack Fonseca, that was uh, named in the Panama Papers. We were able to show them the risks that they had with some end clients around the globe that had been established by Mossack Fonseca about four months prior to the Panama Papers being published. So, so our analysis was uh, incredibly valuable for them in, in understanding some previously unidentified and unfound risks uh, that they had. So that was a huge seminal event for, for our company. Uh, additionally, we've uh, worked with uh, one of the largest prepaid card issuers in the world. There's uh, uh, AML issues with prepaid cards. Um, and we've worked with other banks that uh, have correspondent banking uh, as a primary business, as an important part of their business, uh, that they have AML issues that they need to manage.